what it is what it ain't don't it stank what's going on guys it's your boy ej sparks from the dragon geeks channel back on my bs back on the west coast doing the most yo guys i am so excited to do this figure review right now this versus battle has been the one that i've been waiting for four months but i finally got my sh figure arts cooler in so now we are going to pick to compare dragon stars cooler to sh figure arts look at that it looks like his little brother right there but we are going to take a look at articulation and scale, paint and detail. We're going to compare them with other figures. And of course, at the end, we're going to tell you if one or both are worth the buy. And we're going to tell you who wins this versus battle. So, seatbelts on, everybody. Y'all know what time it is. Lego! Alright, guys. So, I think I'm going to start with the SH Figure Arts Cooler here since it is a brand new figure. And I really want to take a look at this guy and see what we got going on. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab him right here. And we're just going to start with the, you know, detail on the figure. I mean, dude, look at this guy. Like, look at him. He looks absolute beast, yo. Like, the paint and everything just looks so good. Let me slow down. Slow down. All right. So, starting off with the face, let's start here. So, um, we look at, like, the detail. Like, sorry if there's a glare, guys. But, like, you see the detail that they have in, like, his head antenna horn things up here like the detail on there alone is just crazy and then we have like uh, the the ball right here you see like the light bounces off I really love like it's kind of translucent looks really cool um, we take a look at the face right here and this is one of my favorite parts about this figure like we have the line work going on in there um, the red eyes look beautiful and of course the ear sculpt looks very good looks very very good right there and um, yeah, then we go into like his, his armor or his body, whatever you want to call this. All the same detail that's on his head is going through there as well. Looks really cool to have like the lines and like the dents and everything in there. Looks super duper sweet. And yo guys, the shading on this guy is absolutely fantastic. Like, I'm not one of those snobs that's like really huge on the shading, but it, it does make the figure look so much better. Like, you look at the arms here, look at the bicep, triceps, like, all the shading in here. It really just makes the muscles pop and make them look a lot better. Same thing, like, in the abs and the core right here. And I really love the shading in the legs, like, going right down the middles right there and the quad muscles. Looks fantastic. And, um, even when we turn, turn the figure around here, like, looking at the back details, like, the details for, like, his body is, like, going all through there. And, like, the head up here... And then even the spikes on his back, like all the spikes on this guy are pointy. So just be careful, be mindful, guys. The spikes on here are very, very pointy. Um, we look at his ass. We look at the tail. The tail looks fantastic, too. You got the line work going all through there. Then the end of the tail is like pointy as well. Um, and like all the like the circles, like the, the ones here on his wristbands, the ones here on the ankles, like they're all kind of translucent, so they look fantastic. And, of course, we go down to the feet. Look at those toes. Somebody got a mani-pedi. Looks really good. Like, I like the detail they got on there. So, overall, like, just for looks, guys, he looks fire. Like, this literally is one of the best-looking SH figures I have ever seen. One of the best. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put you back over here, my friend. And we're going to go ahead and put you over here. Make sure you're in camera. Let's look at the uh, Dragon Stars cooler real quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, the thing is, guys, like, looking at this one first, it's, like, kind of no-brainer right off the bat. But do not sleep on this guy. Dragon Stars cooler right here. Do not sleep on him. Honestly, this is a really good-looking figure. Dragon Stars always nails their villain figures. They always knock those out the park. They look very good. So, starting with, uh, with his detail. So, um... There's not a whole lot of line work going on, like with SH figure arts, but there are tiny little little dents, like little lines in there. You can't see it that well because it's so bright, but there's stuff going on. And the blue part up here, even though it's not the translucent, it still looks good. But this one looks more like a bluish purple or like a magenta or something like that. But it still looks very good. It's done. It's very well done. And um, when we look at his face, I think the red eyes look very good. Like you got the black on there and the red on top. That looks fantastic only thing that I'm not a super huge fan of is they didn't get the line work like they didn't shade them in to where they're darker on the face um, but that's okay no biggie um, so the spikes on this guy are not like super stabby 
like the SH figure arts, but they do look good. They do. And just like with the head, like you still have like the line work going on through here. You see if you could see it a little bit going on in there. Um it's Dragon Star, so not really a lot of shading going on. But the muscles and everything do look good. I love the core work, the abs on here, that looks great. Chest plates look great. Um, the legs look really good too. Like the quads do look ripped, like he's been working out. And um, you have the ankle, the ankle parts on here that look very good as, as well. They're not translucent, but they still look good with that color. And I'm happy when you look at the hands. Check this out. Like they still got the still got the fingernails painted on there, just like they do on the toes. So they did not neglect that, which some of the figures they do. And honestly, the tail on this guy, the tail's really, really well done as well. Like, I really like how this thing looks. Once again, it's not really stabby, but there's a little bit of detail going on. Uh, nope, just kidding. That's just wearing tear marks. I lied. But for what it is, it looks really, really good. So, I'm um, kind of rating these two figures just off of the paint and detail to start off with. Um, for SH Figure Arts, dude, he's perfect. I don't, I don't know what else we could possibly do to make him better. So I literally am going to give him a 10 out of 10. Um, for Dragon Stars, it's just the very small fact that if they had just a little shading going on, a little bit of paint, and the line work in the mouth, then it would be perfect. But for what it is, I'm going to go ahead and give that a... Da -da -da -da. Let's go 8.5 out of 10. It's very, very close. Very close. But from here, guys, we're going to jump right into the articulation on both of these guys. So, here we go. Alright, guys, jumping right into the articulation. We're just going to start up top here. Um, I have not pulled this head off yet because it's on there so well. I don't really want to pull it off, but looks like he's on one of those uh, new ball joints, kind of like the one that like Jaren is on. Um, so it looks very good. Um, he can look down this much. Uh, hold on, let me make sure you can see that. He can look down this much, and he looks up about that much, which is not bad. And he can look side to side. So you got the articulation with the ball joint right here, and the neck itself kind of moves so that's articulated as well um then this is this was really cool i didn't expect this part to be articulated like the shoulder pads right here these are articulated as well they kind of move up and down side to side ish so that looks really cool and he does have butterfly joints so be careful with these because these shoulder pads are in the way but he does have butterfly joints i'll show them as best as i can so we can kind of get like a lot of you know motion a lot of movement going on in there the butterfly joints does have a bicep swivel of course and double jointed elbow that looks really good no gapping there and got that swivel because it looks like the hands are on ball joints and then when we go down to the torso to the core this is really really looks cool too go side to side this way bends down about that much bends back about that much not bad and no there's not a turn in there but just just that movement right there in the torso is really good for this guy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then we go down to the legs. Have this thigh swivel right here on both sides. Double jointed knee, and this knee looks really good. Looks really good. It doesn't look like it's like a whole separate piece. Looks very well done. And then we have the ankle rocker right here. We can move his feet around, up and down, kind of side to side. Then we cannot neglect the tail. Of uh, the tail actually popped on, so I had to pop it on from the package. So if you really wanted to like take his tail off, you could do that too. But it's articulated in multiple places. So like it goes this way. So there's a nice little swivel right there. Then halfway through right here, this part is articulated as well. Let me get that in the camera better. Boom! So you can make it kind of turn, move however you want it, however you need it. And, oh, this end piece is not actually articulated. But with all the points of articulation, I guess that part doesn't really matter. So, yeah, articulation for this guy is great. I don't think there's anything that I would change. Like, oh, I almost forgot, excuse me. Um, side kicks, he kicks out about that far. Let me come this side. Yep, kicks out about this far on this side. And can't quite do the splits but I think his legs go out far enough um, front kicks here boom that looks good and of course with the shoulders and the arms see how far the arms go up go up about that much so even with the shoulder pads on there he is not limited for the range of motion for his arms so you'll definitely be happy to know that and 
Looks like they do go all the way around. I wouldn't really recommend it because I could mess with it a little bit. So for what it is, the articulation for this guy, really good. I'm going to go and give that a, uh, I guess we could give it a 9.5 out of 10. It's almost perfect because I know that there's always room for improvement. Um, when we look at the Dragon Stars over here, start with his articulation on his head. Um, not a whole lot of movement. He can look down that much, which that actually is pretty good. Looks up, not really, doesn't look up at all. Just looks kind of straight. Looks side to side. Um, he's on a, I think he's on a ball in there too. I've never, that's a really thick ball joint, so I'm not going to pull his head off. Um, the shoulders are not articulated on this guy, the shoulder pads, but that's okay. Um, no butterfly joint, but we do have the bicep swivel. And the elbow is, ah, it's a single jointed elbow. Yeah, this one is a uh, single jointed, and I think, yeah, I mean, it doesn't affect it too much, but I think they could have done a double jointed on here, so that's kind of minus points there. But we got the wrist on that ball joint, so there's a nice swivel in there. It's Dragon Star, so no ab crunch. Um, can't really crunch forward, can crunch back just a little bit, but we still got that nice little movement in there, so I do appreciate that. His shoulders go up, or sorry, his arms go up about this much, so the shoulder pads do not limit that, just like the other one. And then, of course, we got our legs right here, so we got little swivels going on in here. Um, the front kicks, they never go straight forward when it comes to Dragon Stars. They never do. They come up about that much. Um, but they do have, like, this drop-down effect here, so, like, they go up here, and you can drop them down a bit. So, side kicks about... That much that actually doesn't look too bad um splits he goes out pretty far look at that guys for dragon stars that is not bad that is not bad for how far he can go out um let's check out the knees real quick we got double jointed knees those look very good and of course we got the feet down here we got that nice little ankle rocker going on and then the tail articulation this one also articulated back here to a certain extent and we have that other swivel right here halfway through. And look at that. This part on the end actually moves. It beats SH Fig Yards in that sense that that piece moves. So for Dragon Stars, it's honestly exactly what you would expect for its articulation. But if they would have gave him a double jointed elbow, and I really wish they get ab crunches in these guys, it would be perfect. But for Dragon Stars, we'll go ahead and give it a 9 out of 10. We're going to go ahead and take a look at accessories. All right, jumping right into the accessories, we're going to start with SH Fig Arts Cooler. And I'm just going to start with the other head that he comes with right here. I have not tried to put this head on. Could you focus, camera, focus? Uh, okay, it's being a pain. Sorry about that. But I have not tried to put this head on just yet. It's just the head without the mouth guard. And you can see that he has the holes up there so you can plug in like the top of his head. So that's pretty cool that they do give him that extra head on there. Um, as for the extra hands, he comes with uh, three sets. So he comes with kind of like open hands as if he's like shooting a key blast. And then he has like the open hands here, like if he might be like choking or just more blast effects. And we have the pointing fingers for both the left and right hand for like the death beams that him and Frieza shoot. So that's pretty cool. And then we have the alternative feet. I think that's really cool because these are like gripping feet. I've not tested if he could like stand up with these, but I'd imagine that he can. So I'll probably give those a test run later. And the detail on all these look really good. I love all the painted nails on there. All the paint and color schemes look very, very good. And the head looks very good as well. Like, it really does. I don't know if anybody will display the cooler like this, but it's just good that they give you that alternative option, or alternate option, you know? So that's pretty cool. And when we take a look at um, Dragon Star's cooler, so that one, very basic, you guys know how Dragon Stars does. Let me just put those right there. And it's just the extra set of hands, but you get what you pay for. I do like how they still put the fingernail paint on those, so those don't look bad either. So yeah, accessories for both of these coolers. So for SH Fig Arts, I'd say let's go 9 out of 10, just because I guess they could have added a energy effect. Um, and for Dragon Stars, you know, it is what it is. You only expect the extra pair of hands, so... We can go and give that one a 9 as well. Let's go ahead and compare these guys to other figures, and we'll take off from there. Alright, so I got Dragon Star's cooler right here, so I'm going to go ahead and put 
Dragon Star is Frieza next to him, his little brother. It's a final form Frieza right there. And that looks good because this cooler is actually a giant. Um, dude, could you stand up? He doesn't want to stand up. There we go. So that looks actually very, very nice to me. Um, what do you guys think? Do you guys think they should make a King Cold to go with these guys? I really think that they should. Either SH Figure Arts or Dragon Stars will look cool with either one of them. So, I think that's pretty cool. Um, then when we go ahead and put in SH Figure Arts Cooler, he towers even more over his little brother right here. So, uh, that looks cool. But comparing a couple of others, um, we have Awakening Goku from SH Figure Arts right here. So, this is kind of the Goku that faced him in the, you know, Cooler movie, Cooler's Revenge. And then for an even smaller scale, we have Ball Cut Gohan right here. And this is super duper accurate. He barely comes up to like his thigh. So, I think these guys scale with a lot of people very well. And just for the hell of it, let's go ahead and throw Loki in there. Look how, look how he looks next to Cooler. Boom, yeah, so he scales very well with other figures. And they want to stand up. Alright, so I think it's about that time, guys. Let me go ahead and get a Dragon Stars back in the frame here. And we're going to come up with a final conclusion, final verdict. Okay, so <clears throat> this figure, Dragon Stars Final Form Cooler, came out way before the SH Fig Arts version. So this was the only version that we had, okay? And he has been in my display for a very long time and he has looked so good. And that's why I really do love and appreciate this figure a lot. With that being said, when you put him next to the new SH Figure Arts Cooler over here, it's obviously a no-brainer who's the clear-cut winner. This one looks better. Um, the detail is a lot better. The size, the scaling, everything is better and superior about this figure. So I'm going to give this victory to SH Figure Arts Cooler. However, it is still a close one for multiple different reasons. We're going to talk about pricing real quick. So, um, Dragon Star is cooler right now. He's going for no more than $30. You can find him for $22, $25, or $29.99 on certain sites. And he fits in with your other SH figures if you wanted him to. You know, it literally does not look that bad. Like, he doesn't tower like he should, but he doesn't look too bad with your other SH figures if you wanted to put him in there. And currently, SH Figure Arts Cooler, if you did not get this bad boy on pre-order when he was running for $80, right now he's going for about $150, $160. Some places are selling him for $200. You cannot find this guy for under, for under $150. So, that's what makes it tough. You got a $25 figure versus a $150 figure. And like I mentioned before, it obviously you get what you pay for, but at the same time, it's all about if you're willing to spend the cash. Either way, I say both of these guys are worth the buy, whichever one you decide to go with. Even though he's just a movie villain, he is arguably the most iconic movie villain next to Broly. So if you have a Dragon Ball collection, you need to get cooler. Get either one of these guys, they're going to look super fantastic in your collection. And one more thing I'm going to leave you guys off with. Neither of the colors, the color schemes are off. It really just depends on the picture you're looking at of Cooler. Because this one does look a little bit more movie accurate. But when you look at just art that's done, he does have this like more dark purplish, you know? So, yeah, guys, that's the final verdict. Um, I'm giving this W to SH Fig Arts. But you tell me, what do you guys think? Go ahead and drop a comment down below. Are you guys going to get this figure? Have you gotten him? And what are your thoughts on the Dragon Stars version of Cooler? Now, as I always say on my outro, I am still a small growing channel, and I thank you guys so much for the love and support you have given me so far on my journey. So please like, comment, and subscribe to the page for more content, and I'll be back at y'all real soon. Catch y'all on the flip side.